Hey brothers and sisters, this is Elizabeth Marie with a lot of rain 333 and I come to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and I do this video for His glory alone. Today I have two short messages that I received on two different occasions while praying. They're part of a bigger message but they correlate to one another so I'm going to put them together. Uh, also I want to mention that I'm going to be doing a day of prayer next week, possibly not this weekend, but the next weekend. I don't have the exact date yet. And I felt in my spirit that the Lord wanted me to ask any of you that might have urgent prayer requests for you or your family. And if so, please let me know. And I will be spending the day praying for my subscribers and for those who have asked for prayer. Now you can go down below in the description box, you'll see a contact page and in that contact page will lead you to my blog and you can put your prayer requests there. Uh, I am the only one who sees it, so if it's something very personal, I am the only one who will be reading it. And also, please make sure you put prayer request as your heading so I can sort out um, my regular contacts from the prayer request contacts. Okay, thank you so much. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and get to these messages. Um, the first one, I will have a transcript of these um, in also my blog description, is, and it's in the description box below, and it will have corresponding scriptures. So go check that out if you have a chance. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the first message. It's called The Days of Noah. That's what I titled it. The Days of Noah. The hour is late, though most do not believe this. Like in the days of Noah, they will continue to eat, drink, and be merry until the judgments fall. Only Noah was prepared, for I had spoken to him about what was coming and directed him to prepare an ark for his family. He did not hesitate, but obeyed my commands. He was a man of great faith and righteousness in a wicked and crooked society. The days of Noah and the days of Sodom and Gomorrah are upon you. History repeats itself, but each time it gets worse. Now, the butchering of my little ones have reached a point of no return. The witchcraft, sorcery, and rebellion is at a new height on the earth. It is leading the children, the, excuse me, the leading of the children into perversion has also reached new heights. Yes, there has always been evil and wickedness, but now it has become more than pervasive. Now I'm going to stop there. Um, I, after I received the message, I looked up the word pervasive, and this is what it says. It says existing in or spreading through every part of something. And I believe that's what the Lord was referring to concerning the children, that this wickedness is go going through everything. It's spreading every part of life. Back to message. the message. I alone will come and sweep the nations clean with the fire of my mouth. Soon I will come and restore righteousness and justice. My people will rejoice. Pray for that day to come sooner than later. I will be the final, final victor, and my chosen ones will also be given the victory. Till then, seek purity, righteousness, justice, and peace with one another. Cleanse yourself through my blood, and you will be as white as snow. Have faith in order to move the mountains, and stand firmly on my word. Your journey of life will continue into the hereafter and into all eternity. Pass the test of life, and you will reign with me. Your Savior, Jesus of Nazareth, the one and only Messiah of the world. And that was the end of that message I want to share with you. And here's the second one now. And I received this one on the 20, uh, April 27th of 2022. I'm going to call this one. Um, wait a second, brothers and sisters. Okay, here it is. 
I'm going to call this one the unprepared. The enemy has lulled my people to sleep. Even though they heard the alarms for my prophets, they did not heed or prepare. This will lead to great suffering for many. The trumpet sounded, but most ignored its warnings and continued in their everyday life. They did not prepare, even though these are like the days of Noah. Woe to those who heard and then walked away. It would have been better for them if they hadn't it would be better for them if they hadn't heard at all. The path is narrow and straight, but most have wandered from it. The cares of the world, the stresses of life, and the enticements of pleasure and gain have led many astray. Some have wandered so far off that they are now lost and know it not. Pray for these wandering lost souls, some who are even mine. I call and call, but they hear me not. Okay, and that's the end of that message, brothers and sisters. Now I want to go ahead and share with you a scripture. And I will end with that. Matthew 24, verses 37, 38, and 39. But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark, and did not know until the flood came and took them all away. So also it will it so also will the coming of the Son of Man be.